Yay! Cheers, everyone. I'm just making me morning coffee. I couldn't find any coffee anywhere. I must have run out. I can't, I haven't bought any, well, I haven't bought anything for weeks now. And um, I was thinking, I'll make a morning coffee. I couldn't find any. So what I got was some of this cappuccino stuff here, Lewis. Well, I uh, get it in the, like the little sachet things. I found I found a few of them, so I dunked them in a mug. And uh, made me morning coffee look. Oh, bloody brilliant, isn't it, eh? Well, it feels good to be using the cameras again, going beyond the cameras. I mean, you lot have been seeing videos on my usual schedule, but that's only because I've already had those videos made, or at least I've already had most of the footage filmed. I haven't really filmed anything or done anything for about three weeks now. Um, you know, I've been putting, I've had videos, or well, I like to be prepared, right? So I had videos that I already filmed the footage, and I might have had to do a bit of a little bit here and there or upload it but some of them are already uploaded to YouTube they're just private and then if I ever can't make a video and I'm gonna run I'm gonna not about to make the usual upload schedule all I gotta do is go and make a video live or schedule it and it's bloody brilliant so you know me, me cameras were all like oh, hold on a minute and you've been using me for a while and I'm like no I haven't so I've been using keep them charged up and everything like that but I ain't been using them but this is the first time I've been behind a camera for ages well in front of a camera I should say it's, it's different being behind the camera because you can't they can't see you but if you're in front of it then people can see you so just because I haven't been be in front of a camera for a while I made any or actually filmed anything doesn't mean I haven't been doing stuff I've done, I've been doing bits and bobs um, I've got a new dump valve here I took this one off I think one of the videos that recently went up was when I had a video uh, I, I, I what did I do oh, I took this apart and tried to clean it oh bloody hell that was weeks ago now anyway and uh, it didn't really work I've got this trouble where it won't open so what I did was um, I tried to I was considering cutting the spring but then I was thinking if I cut the spring that might mean that it'd be too weak and then it will leak boost um, so what I've done is it's not in there it's on the car but I'll show you what I've got I, I, I bought a new one basically um, I bought it from a company called spooled up and um, yeah they give you this I think they're they're not a very good company I'm not really sure um, because they give you this tiny little bit of paper this little bit of letter and all that um, but the, 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 the blow off valve or the dump valve itself I fell down there look the blow the dump valve itself seems like it's all right I mean it's on the car it still doesn't work um, it's doing the same as what the other one did which was it only opens if you're going full throttle and then you let off, you're on full boost, then you let off, then the valve will open. But if 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 you're only going half throttle and then you let off, the valve won't open, and any boost pressure what is there goes straight out of bloody turbo. I don't want that. So I've got to try and sort that problem, and I haven't been able to work it out. So I have put a little thread up on the forum, on the Focus RS forum, to see if anyone can help me. But I'm going to have to try and work it out myself because I can't send it off to be mapped. I don't want that turbo to go. So. I've been messing around with the dump valve and the spark plugs. I've, I've had these, I put these spark plugs in, uh, not these ones, these old ones. Um, I put these new ones in, uh, there'll be a video on that coming up um, because what I've done is I didn't film as I'd, I don't know, did I film as I'd done it? I can't remember what I did now. Um, but I filmed something about it anyway a while back, a long while back, about a couple of three weeks back. So there'll be a video on the spark plugs coming up. Still got issues with it, um, but hey, you know, what can you do? But what I thought I'd do is, because I haven't done it for a long while, was I haven't looked at any comments. And I just thought to myself, you know, it's been a while since I actually spoke to you lot, you know. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to speak to you lot. I'm going to have a look at some of the comments and uh, yeah, just have a little bit of a chat in this video, I suppose. It won't be a very long one, but it'll be a bit boring, but, you know, we'll have a little bit of a chat. This is this is this this what I'm filming now has actually been longed right out now for about three hours because I dug out my telephone in order to look at the comments and then it was flat because I ain't used it for ages. Um, so and then I had to go and charge it. <laughs> and then I forgot about it and now it's nearly flat again. It's on like 30%, but it doesn't matter. There'll be enough. I just look at some comments. But first of all, I need to thank everyone because we're on now. What? How many are we on? We're on 5,000. 296 subscribers there look that's what we're on that's bloody brilliant that is absolutely fantastic thank you to every single one of you lot so let's have a look at some of these comments then shall we this all this video is going to be about probably just looking at a few comments and having a little bit of a chit chat now let's have a look at some of these comments let's start from number one there won't be all of them on here but these we'll start from one and we'll go down i have actually read this one and i replied to it as well it's from um Sam M. He's been. Uh, he's, he's quite a good, actually, quite a good bloke. I don't. I don't know who he is, but he's a good old bloke. Um, beautiful, uh, <laughs> beautiful, 
luscious, bushy, green blades of grass. Mega jealous, even with your old dodgy patch. Your efforts just go to prove that if you take the time and effort to understand why and what you're doing, everything you do will get top results. Your lawn proves it. It's a shame you don't show your neighbours' lawns. Are they still yellow and dried up? I bet that they're mega pissed at yours. Lol. I used to have a lovely lawn myself until I mowed it. Was told that when I had it put down that it would never have problems with it. It's never been the same ever since I first cut it. Would never have AstroTurf again. Would rather have the fake stuff. That was on a video that I done. I think that went live. When did that go live? That may have gone live this morning actually. I'm, I'm, I can't remember now, but I filmed it a long while back actually. And we had quite a bit of rain. And it's about my lawn and how I care about it and everything and how I maintain it in the weather and everything. Cause I have a bit of problems. And, and uh, yeah, it's... um. Can be tricky. My neighbours' lawns are very, very dried up. Um, they don't look after them whatsoever. Not one little bit. They're all green and shriveled. I did go and fertilise the old. There's an old couple. The old man on that side. He's. He's. I don't like him. He's got a real attitude. He's nasty. Really nasty. I don't like him whatsoever. But there's a couple on the other side. They're all right. They've been talking to me recently. They're well all right. So I had a little bit of fertilise left over. So one evening, it was about ten o'clock. I, I no reason why I done it at that time. I was just having a bit of a sort. I had a little bit of fertiliser, so I went out there and fertilised their front garden and um, didn't say anything to them. I thought it was a good deed, you know, good deed. And that's coming up really well now. That is, it's got a bit patchy, but it's coming up really well. I've been giving it a bit of watering and everything. I'm trying to do a good deed, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's coming up well. What you need to do there, Sam M, what you need to do, mate, is you need to go and get some um, AstroTurf seeds. You can get them in any garden centre. They're just plastic seeds. You put them down and it grows new AstroTurf. If you get them, you'd be fine, mate. Right, another comment here from MF50B. Uh, what we got? Uh, have you had a change of camera? Sound seems a lot clearer on recent videos. Good work. No change of camera, dude. It was more of a change of the way I did things. Um, I'm assuming you're referring to the video that you commented on, which was the one about the grass. I did that one. I just spent more time on it. <laughs> That's what I've done, basically. Um, I had the Rode microphone on the 760D, the Canon 760D. I had it set up properly. I don't usually set things up properly. I know how to, but I don't because I'm just usually, not in a rush, but I just usually just film stuff and get on with it. Because whenever you're filming something, it takes three times as long to do as it would do if you was just doing it without filming it. So usually I'm just, I don't set things up properly. But because I had a load of spare time, loads of it, I set things up properly and the camera, the microphone was on the camera for that grass video, the lawn care video. And I just simply, it was just because I did it properly, that's all it was. That's the reason why the audio was, I was really pleased with that actually, it came up really good. Um, so that was live, that one. Well, not live, it wasn't a live video, but the audio was live from the camera, yeah? So it wasn't a voiceover, that was, audio was from the camera and microphone as I was filming it. However, when I did the video, what was I doing, the compression test on the focus, that was a voiceover. And there was a bit in the middle where I looked at the plugs that wasn't a voiceover. The rest of it was filmed with this camera here, the AX33, um, and it was no external microphone the built-in um, 5 to 1 microphone uh, but it was um, most of it was a voiceover that I'd done um, recorded it because I can't get my microphone to work on the computer it's just being stubborn I then recorded the voiceover with the 760D and the Rode microphone I just watched the vid watched the footage said what I wanted to say and then put that on the computer and linked it all up lined it all up that's all I did um, so that was the, the compression test one was a voiceover done with that same setup. So it's just more time, you know, it's, that's all it is. It's just doing things properly and that's the difference between doing things properly and not doing things properly. You'll find the audio on this video won't be as good as that one because I'm just filming it. I'm just, just here winging it. Just winging it, dude. All right, so we got here, what we got here? Uh, Tommy Hanlon. First, uh, okay, what did I win? You won a cabbage and it's in the post. You forgot to mention your blade, hut cut, blade cutting height. Yeah, I, I know I did, yeah. Oh, I was, I was got a little bit annoyed, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I've done that video all pleased with it and I forgot to mention that when you're cutting your lawn, you mustn't cut any more than one third off the top of it. If you cut any more than one third, it will damage it. Yeah, so just don't cut any more than one third off your lawn. Uh, the old Sam M again, what's he said this time? Uh, oh, I've replied to this one as well. Oh. 
um, what's it say? Brilliant video as always. Uh, feels wrong to say that when your car is playing up. Yeah, I hope you get the bottom of it. Uh, a guy with your talent uh, will have uh, this nipped in the bud in no time. It's a good job you don't wake up every day with everything, everything hungry dory. You'd have nothing to film for us all. Long may things need fixing in the world of rusty. Well, <laughs> I can't really hope things don't need fixing. It gets really annoying <laughs> when I can't do anything. You know, uh, what I want to do is go out and drive my car. And every time I do, not every time, it's been all right. Now, touch some wood, it's touching the bloody wood. Um, but most of the time, something goes wrong. Or, it, yeah, it is a little bit annoying, you know. <laughs> it, does get, it does get you sometimes, but what do you do? You just go along and fix it, didn't you? Um, that's just the way it goes. Um, but I really appreciate that uh, you seem to think that I'm, I don't know, you seem to think I'm, what did you say? Um, talent. You seem to think I'm talented. Well, that's very kind of you to say so. I would disagree to some extent, but that's very nice of you to say so. Thank you. Oh, I must point out that the reason. Look, I don't like. I don't like making comments like this. I don't like saying things like this. Yeah, but the reason a lot of the stuff I do isn't fixed properly. It's down to the cost. Okay, if. I had a disposable amount of money, that focus would be absolutely mint, it would be, I would have it all done absolutely properly, I'll take it to a specialist, I'd obviously do loads of things myself, um, of course I would, I wouldn't change, that's the way I am, I like doing stuff, but I'd have the right tools, and I'd buy the right things, and do them, and the things that I can't do, I don't know how to, for example mapping, I, I'm not going to go and spend, even if I was a multi-millionaire, I wouldn't go and spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on a mapping bay, um, and all that software and rolling road and all that, just to map one car. So, um, I'd take that to an actual proper specialist and get the engine tuned up properly and you know, really well done. Um, but that's all down, it's all down to money and I'm skimping past. I'm doing things to the bare minimum just to get them going, just to get them by. Um, that's the reason it's taken so long. That's the reason things ain't nipped in the bloody bud, you know what I mean, before they get too bad. Um, but I just thought I'd point it out, because I don't know whether some people think that um, I'm just uh, lazy or something. It's not that, it's just down the cost of things. Things are expensive these days, aren't they? Oh, this is just a comment from an outsider, I think. Did I comment on that? Oh, I'm thinking about it, that's why. How do you get the inside lights working from a battery on a Swift 2005 Lifestyle 480 Caravan? Any advice, please? Linda... Stuart, um, I don't know there Linda, you probably won't be watching this video because I think you're just an outsider looking to work your caravan lights in your caravan. Um, I'm having to think about it and I'll reply to your comment as and when it, when, I, when I know. Um, what's this? Oh, uh, Darren Groves. My mate has the same compression tester. Oh yeah, I was talking about my compression tester. Um, I've got the compression tester. It's a very, I, I don't think it's any good. Um, the focus come up with like 40 PSI, it should be 117. Don't know what's going on with that. Uh, we've got here, Harrison Mills Jones. Shouldn't you try it with, a fo with the throttle? Shouldn't you try it without the throttle full open? Um, no, when you're doing a compression test, uh, you have to have the throttle wide open. Doesn't matter what you're doing. A dirt bike, a motorbike, uh, a strimmer, a lawnmower, a car, unless it's a diesel, if it's a diesel and doing a compression test you'd put it in for the inject injection holes and you'd, you can't have the throttle wide open anyway because there's no throttle plate on a diesel, it's just wide open. So that's, you know, on a petrol you have the throttle wide open to get as much air in there as possible, that's how you do a compression test. Well there's been many, 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 many more comments um, over the past three, two or three weeks that I haven't really been active um, like I said, it looks like I have been because I've been putting videos up and everything and I've comment, I've replied to a few comments and things like that um, But there's been many many more comments that I have read and have looked at blah 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 But I can't get to them on that because the way that the app works It only shows me so many bloody comments. It won't show me all of them. I can't get to them um, So I can only get to them on a computer and uh, yeah, I just I can't go indoors I can't go on the computer at the moment. So yeah, there's many more. Thank you for every single comment. Thank you for all the views and all the subscriptions and everything like that. Um, hopefully things will get back on track now and uh, we can get going. I've got a lot to do on that KX80. By the way, this video is in 4K, <laughs> so check it out. I'm not going to do loads of them. I'm not going to do any more in 4K <laughs> because it takes up too much space. Bloody space. Um, if I had a massive backup hard drive, like a massive one, I mean, I've got eight terabytes. Um, I've had eight terabytes now for oh many years. Um, back up everything, but I can't back up um, uh, the 4K videos because they're 
bloody huge. Um, I know you can get different formats and things like that. I know, I know, I know. Um, but 4K is not worth it, especially when YouTube compresses the videos right down. Um, so you put you put all this effort in to get in really good quality. Um, you know, 4K good audio, good everything like that, and then you upload it to YouTube and they can press it right down and it just destroys everything. I know 4K still looks better than 1080p on YouTube, but it's still, I don't think it's worth all the effort, um, all the effort of doing it all. So I'm not going to do any more. This one's in 4K because I forgot to change the camera over. Um, I'm going to do a 4K video because of the Ibeza Eek and all these other little fans there told me to use my 4K capabilities on this camera and do a 4K video. So I did that and then I forgot to change it back for this one. So you've got two videos in 4K. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what it's going to be. Um, I've got the KX80 to do. I've got a lot of stuff to do on the KX80. I've got some mowers to do. I've got all kinds of stuff, still got work on the focus, I've got the discovery to do, I might paint some of the discovery, or a bit of paint, I might do a bit of painting actually, on the discovery, do a bit of that, uh, but I'm going to go and try and find some gas, so that I can cook some dinner later on, cook a bit of tea later on, because I, I got, it's the only gas I've got, so I don't know what I'm going to be uh, making me tea with, oh, uh, uh, I'll have to go and find some gas, do they still do it for these old ones, never mind.